Evan's a very happy baby. He's carefree and flexible, but at times he is stubborn. Um, but he's been a very easy baby for us. Evan loves to, to play. Um, he loves to interact with people. He loves playing ball and he, he loves playing with kids his age and adults and just being around people. Evan was born about a year and a half ago and at the time um, we did not know that he had Down syndrome. Um, it's been a real comfort for us to find that we haven't been drawn away from um, our typical day-to-day -day, um, lifestyle or routine very much because of his disability. Right now, Evan's very good with finger feeding, but it doesn't work with foods like yogurt. So our goal right now is to work with Evan on the spoon feeding. Yummy, yum, yum. When I work with children and families, the outcomes continue to change. For example, in the beginning, Bob and Michelle really wanted to work on independent bottle feeding and finger feeding. And so now he's doing really well with those, so we've moved on to spoon feeding. The best time to work on this for the family is at snack time after they come home from childcare and work. You're ready. You're hungry. <laughs> I think you could just kind of go from right here and you don't have to bite, bite too much because he's actually doing it pretty well on his own. He just needs a little bit of guidance to help him go up. So with the, mm -hmm. the, with the, palm, the palm of hand. my hand? Just a little bit more back by the elbow. I don't think... Okay. There we go. And then I would go ahead and release it. I think you could just gently guide him up as he's scooping and bringing the spoon up to his mouth. Okay. Want more? Uh, Let's do more. Uh, mm. yeah, more. Uh, more and up. Yeah. There we go. And maybe just give him a better grasp on the spoon. He's okay. kind of towards mm -hmm. the end. Let's go up. Uh, there you go. In addition to mealtime, Evan's Get parents more? also mm. had some communication goals in mind. For example, Evan being able to communicate meaningful words to request people toys and activities. Pop! 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 More! More bubbles. Blow? Pop! 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 Learning definitely happens best through play. Evan's a typical child and loves to play. We've learned a lot of strategies on how to make his play more rich and bye meaningful. Bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye. 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 Evan, where's Mama? Hi. Hi, Mama. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Therapy can be so much fun when it's just part of the family's play activities. It's engaging for the kids and very meaningful for families. Bye-bye, Mama. Oh, where's Mama? La, 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 la. Yeah, <laughs> you said Mama. Yeah. That was good. We've had therapy in the past that hasn't worked, and it hasn't worked because the therapist came in with a rigid agenda and didn't incorporate play into the session. The therapy we have now works very well because the therapists are flexible and they use a natural approach incorporating play into the session. Not only are they working with Evan, but they're working with us and sharing their knowledge and their experience um, so that we can work with them for the rest of the week. And it's not so much work, but so that we can incorporate the things they're doing um, into our, you know, play time with Evan. Evan spends a lot of time um, at daycare and so it's important for us to know that um, the people who are spending so much time with him um, are working with him on the same things that we're working with him on um, and it's very important for us to have the therapist um, instructing his teachers 
um, with regard to the types of things we're working on. Did you sleep well? Yeah. 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 yeah, he's already had his bottle. You How long have you been awake this morning, Evan? You know, I love having Evan in my class. Um, look forward to him coming the days that he comes during the week. He just kind of lights up the room. Um, kids look forward to him there on the days when he doesn't show up and he's supposed to be there. All the kids. Like, where's Evan? You know, they go to his cubby and notice his backpack isn't there, and everyone, you know, he's just a great kid to have in my class. It's nice. And he really does have a good M sound. So why don't you kind of hold him back and see? More? More. Go ahead, and then just go ahead and reinforce that production of more. Along Evan. with Evan learning to say words, he is also learning manual signs. This facilitates his ability to understand and use language and supports him in becoming a more active and effective communicator. Hey, Evan. Okay. Oh, does that look yummy? Yeah. Oh, oh, you want some sprinkles? Show your paint. Pretty paint. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. So how has painting been going? You know what? Um, it was a problem when we were just using the regular paint because he'd eat it and then throw the brush across the room. Mm -hmm. Since we've been using edible stuff like Cool Whip and pudding and this Caro syrup with the sprinklers, he's, uh, he's really gotten into it. Yeah. One of my primary roles when I consult in Evan's childcare setting is to observe the typical classroom day and provide suggestions around modifications of the activities, the environment, or the materials to support Evan to fully participate with his peers. I enjoy having therapists like Renee come into my classroom. I have a background in early child care, so I know a lot about uh, providing quality child care and planning activities. It's nice to have an input from therapists like Renee. Um, they help with positioning a child, um, feeding, and bringing activities to the level of all the children in the classroom, which is the ultimate goal of a child care provider. Are you all finished? Can you sit down while you eat? Yeah. If you're going to eat, Zach, you need to sit on your bottom. Hey, Bob. Michelle's been using at home. Okay. And what we've been doing is, because sometimes he'll grab a spoon and he's having a harder time getting it up to his yeah. mouth. So if you just provide a little bit of guidance around the elbow area, just to help him guide it up okay. to his mouth. He's been doing really well. Okay. Is that yummy, Zach? You like cereal. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Evan yummy, loves cereal yummy. too. Julia loves milk. That's right. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, he just needs a little bit of support, and I think eventually we can figure it out um, in a short time. Okay. Let's put it in the fridge, Julia. No, we're fine. Go ahead. Oh, here we go. So if you could just, there we are. Yeah, man! Oh, that was nice. My time with Evan is very brief, so it's so important that I share my knowledge and experience with Evan's parents and his child care providers so that they're able to support his development throughout the week. This is really when the progress is made. La, 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 la. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Sam.